So sometimes some, but not all, of the possible objects are taken when we're looking at our permutations. And so this is when we say we're counting permutations when R are taken at a time. And so you can never use an object more than once, but we're not going to take all of the, we're not going to make all of the decisions. We're not going to fill all 25 seats. So for instance, we could try and sit 12 students in a classroom of 25, and we could count how many permutations there are that makes that happen. And so the formula for this is a capital P with an N and a comma and an R. And if you see this, this is defined as N factorial over R factorial. So for instance, let's just suppose that we do P, the permutations where we have nine total objects and we take two of them. Well, this is nine factorial over two factorial, which is nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two factorial over two factorial. The two factorials go away and we get out our calculator again. Let's move this over here. Nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three. There's 181. 100, 181,440, too many fours there, 40 different ways that I can have nine objects and take two of them away. So for instance, that we could have nine different contestants in a dog show, and we only have a first place and a second place winner. And if that's the case, then this is what we get. 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Well, let's just look at some others. Suppose that we have P73. And P73 would be 7 factorial over 3 factorial. So 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial. Which is, we get our calculator out again, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 is 840. So there are 840 different ways that we get a first, a second, and a third place contestants if there were seven total contestants. And so this becomes very useful for us as we count permutations. And, and again, keep in mind, the closer these numbers are to each other, the smaller this number gets. And so that's one way of keeping track of does this number make sense or not, is the closer they are together, the smaller the number of results we can possibly have. But that's how we count permutations are at a time.